Hello, uh, I am Muhammad Ishan Arifin Hassan and I welcome you all to another session of IELTS speaking preparation. So uh, we are here and we have been through many lectures regarding the IELTS speaking test. So we have been through the do's and don'ts of the IELTS speaking test, task 1, task 2 and task 3. Uh, and there were many techniques uh, discussed in these sessions. Um, as well as we um, have been through one uh, live discussion session yesterday. So today, uh, the same thing will happen. So we'll be having the live discussion session. Uh, like the previous class, we uh, talked about uh, the ISIS being just task one, where uh, participants tried to answer some questions similar to IELTS speaking test task one and i tried to give them some feedback from my experience so today uh, we'll be uh, discussing about ielts speaking test task two like that way uh, and in ielts speaking test task two it is very important to understand that talking for two minutes for one particular topic is a bit difficult so we have to find some strategies that i have discussed earlier in the lectures that how to cope up with this situation how to talk for two minutes without any interruption so uh, following those strategies will help you guys to be able to talk for two minutes without any interruption and uh, make best use of tenses different vocabularies different scenarios different sentence structures so it is very important to use different sentence structures different vocabularies and um, different scenarios uh, so that you can use different tense so that you can show that you can use different tense in your discussion so all these uh, techniques are very important uh, for you guys to get a good band score in the spring test especially in the task two part because it's the most difficult task uh, in between the three tasks that you will be given in the answers being test from the examiner so uh, let's start to this class and i am also um, expecting you guys to join the live uh, discussion in zoom so uh, good afternoon uh, velanki good afternoon so uh, i'm posting the link of this zoom class in the youtube Afifa, walikum, assalam. so you can find the link from the previous day's uh post in the facebook facebook group as well so join the zoom class live and we'll be again going through the tasks uh, that are required uh for the ielts speak test especially today the task two so you will be uh trying to discuss uh, on any topic you'll be trying to have a discussion on any topic that you like or that i ask and you will be trying to talk for two minutes without in, any interruption and then i'll be trying to give you some feedback based on your own uh, based on your own um, discussion so just remember the do's and don'ts of the uh, as has been test task two which is cue card first you have to pick a cue card so that um you can answer or you could discuss the topic written on the cue card so you don't know the topic even the examiner doesn't know the topic when you will be able to pick a cue card the topic is like a raffle draw so it can be anything it depends on your luck so you'll be picking up a cue card if it can be an easy topic it can be a uh, it can be a tough one if you are not familiar with the topic so it depends on your luck but try to cope up with the situation try to talk for two minutes and try to answer the questions uh, that are mentioned in the cue card so uh, after that when you got your cue card you will get one minute for the preparation time try to write the keywords that are necessary for your answer so that you can remember 
what to tell when you see the keywords written on the paper. So use that one minute preparation time intelligently. So you have to write the keywords that you will be using uh, for answering the uh, two minutes discussion. So uh, just be aware of that, be aware of this situation. And uh, I hope that you guys can join now in the Zoom so that uh, we can have a live uh, discussion and I can give you some uh, feedback, which is very important to get and to understand how are you doing um, in terms of as a string test uh, task to the cue card. So uh, I have given you the link uh, in the description uh, in the chat box of YouTube and the link is posted in the uh, Facebook group as well. So try to join the Zoom class now um, and we'll be having a discussion. Till that time, uh, let me discuss something else. So whenever you are joining, we'll be starting the discussion. But till uh, till that time, uh, the the Zoom link is the same link from yesterday's class. It is posted in the Facebook group. Uh, I posted in uh, I posted the link yesterday, uh, and you guys got that link from that very post. So that is the link uh, that you'll be using today as well. So just go to the Facebook group. Even I have commented the link in the YouTube chat box as well. So try to go through the chat box or try to see the link uh, from the yesterday's post in the Facebook group. So the same link used for yesterday class and that is been posted in the Facebook group as well yesterday. So just check the Facebook group. You'll get my post and you'll get the link. So try to join the Zoom class soon as possible uh, all right uh, i was talking about uh, as is being test task two and as well as the task three we have uh, broad questions so you need to answer these questions promptly from your own promptness so it is very uh, necessary to understand that uh, Answering something promptly is not easy. So if you get a topic or if you get a question that is out of your comfort zone, try to make something up. So if you do not know the answer of the question, if you do not know uh, the do's and don'ts or the depth of the question, just try to um, roam around the topic of the question. If you don't know the exact answer, you can tell that that uh, to the examiner that I don't do not know the exact answer because your content of the answer is not being judged by the examiner. The content is not important. Your answers content is not important. W what is important is your grammar, is your sentence structure, your English language is important. The content of your answer is not important. That uh, the same thing I have been telling you guys for many days now. So, all right, uh, the link is in the Facebook group posted yesterday by me, and it is in the comment box here in the YouTube chat box as well. So join the Zoom live uh, from any of those link, and uh, we'll start uh, uh, the feedback session as well. Uh, and then, will be uh, scrutinizing the discussion criteria or the type of discussions that we'll be having uh, that relates to IELTS is being just asked to cue card. So uh, in the cue card, as they will be giving you some topics, uh, that topic will have some questions. Try to answer the questions as well so that uh, uh, you can cover every answer of those questions in your two minutes discussion. So it is necessary to remember also the questions 
while answering or while discussing for two minutes without interruption. So uh, I hope that you guys will be able to follow the techniques that I have been through um, in the previous speaking sessions so that um, you'll be able to make uh, more sentences in the discussion session. Uh, let me share a slide with you guys. In just a moment. Now I hope that you guys can see the slides as well. Um, here we have some discussion topic and some questions in the slides. So uh, you guys will be able to um, will be able to practice these topics today as I'll be asking or I'll be giving you the question and topics uh from this slide so for example we, we can see a topic now um, regarding the art describe a piece of art you like and as you can see in the slide that you have some questions to answer here you should say what the work of art is when you first saw it what do you know about it and explain why you like it. So while uh, you are answering uh, or while you are having a discussion for two minutes without interruption, you should also answer these questions as well. So in your discussion, you have to answer these questions as well. Try to cover all the questions and maybe maintain the serial or maintain the sequence of the question asked in your cue card think these uh, whole question set and discussion as a cue card that you'll be getting in the IELTS exam. All right, uh, so guys uh, started joining in the Zoom as well. I can see some of you have already joined in the Zoom. So uh, one thing I have to ask you guys, uh, there are a few people in, in, in this uh, Zoom right now. Do you uh, face difficulties uh, following the instructions given by me? Is it understandable? Most of you even don't understand uh, the instructions, I guess. Is that the case? Anybody can answer, Rakibul, Rukul, anybody? So do you face difficulties to understand the instructions? Is it too uh, tough to understand? Raki, will you may answer? No, sir. It's not mm, difficult. It's easy. Okay. So, uh, but I think most of the people do not understand uh, the basic instructions. So that's a problem. Uh, you, you should have. Sir, 
today's topic is difficult i think but your instruction not difficult okay so you think that uh, because of the difficulty level of this topic uh, we will be seeing less participation uh, in this feedback session i think they are not uh, getting the <clears throat> link yet but the link is um, in the facebook group as well right yes sir it was difficult to, to get for myself that's why i i did it okay so uh don't you see the link in the chat box of no, youtube sir. <clears throat> no sir no uh, sir i don't see it sir it was not visible in okay. the chat box did you see my comment but you got the link from the facebook group yes sir i got it but i uh, find it i was not find it um, easily okay so i it is so difficult to find it okay let me post it again then in the facebook group. okay okay uh, it will be easy to get <coughs> mm -hmm. okay because there are many posts right Okay. Okay, um I have posted the link to Facebook as well. So all right i invite all of you guys who are in the youtube live to join the zoom discussion as the link uh, has been again posted in the facebook group um, the name of the group is uk study visa i guess you all are in that group all right so let's start uh, the discussion as well as i have been through the uh, the basics of file system test task 2 again in this lecture today as well so let's start um, anybody wants to volunteer and be the first to discuss or start anybody or i'll call by name raki boon are you willing to start giving your discussion on this topic uh i'm scared yeah you can try and maybe uh your discussion will not cross one minute or two minutes that will be fine no problem but trying is <laughs> okay important, then you know? i can try no problem okay and the questions are here you can see them on the screen so it will not be a problem so start from now on uh, sh uh, should i read the passage uh no just when uh you will be just think that you are in the ielts uh examination room you have got your cue card this is your cue card that you can see in the screen and you have to discuss this topic for two minutes without any interruption nobody is going to tell you anything you have to discuss this topic and answer the question mentioned in the cue card think like that and start giving your speech Sir, art about art. I have not enough idea. How can? Yeah, that that was the point I was making. So, you guys will be attending your IELTS exam very soon. What uh, can happen if you get this topic in the in your IELTS swing test? Then what will you do? Then definitely, I will go to less mark. Less mark, but you yeah. should try. Do not leave the uh, field, the aware field, without trying. Okay. That's not a good thing to do, right? So think like this way. Uh, let me help you. But yeah, you have got the problem to solve because there can be topics um, in the IELTS exam which you are not very familiar with. You have to deal with the situation and that's the main theme of the exam that how you are dealing with the topics that you even don't know 
because in the real life you will face this kind of scenarios every day so you have to discuss or you have to talk in english about some topic that you don't have any idea that's why in ielts they give some topics in the cue card and maybe you're not familiar with that topic but those topics are very generic or very general so you should have idea about those topics but even if you don't have uh, depth knowledge of the topic you should be able to continue the discussion and thus they are testing in ielts exam for example here uh, describe a piece of art you like so piece of art can be anything um it can be even um one picture that you saw uh, that you saw in anybody's drawing room um it can be uh, one piece of music it can be even um the blanket we use in bangladesh called nokshi katha it can be even that that is also a piece of art it can be the pictures uh portrayed in the back side of rickshaws that we use in bangladesh our favorite mode of transportation especially in dhaka city and all over the country the piece of art we see in the back of rickshaws so i am sure rakibul you see a lot of examples of arts in your environment in your surroundings so you you can easily if you have that thought process even if you don't have any knowledge regarding art if you do not have any depth in art look at these questions these questions are very generic they are not judging your uh, knowledge about art they are just asking what the work of art is they are just asking when you first saw it so look at these questions these questions are very generic to answer that's why they're not expecting you to be an art specialist that's for sure so okay. uh here this topic is very uh i know because maybe you don't have any interest regarding art and you haven't you haven't thought this in this process but if you change the thinking and that's why these feedback sessions are very important i guess from now on if you get a topic that you don't know or you do not have much depth about you will think like this way that this is a generic topic i should be uh, able to answer it from my generic perspective despite of being a rookie in that topic despite of not having enough knowledge about that topic but i can discuss it from a general perspective general point of view uh, rupul mrida you want to tell something you have raised your hand yes thank you uh, can i say something about art sir okay you want to discuss this topic yeah i, I like very much this topic and i want to say something about art okay if you want to say something you have to follow the pattern because uh, we are trying to imitate the ics being test task too so maybe uh, this is your cue card then you have to speak for 2 minutes without interruption and you have to answer those question available in the cue card you can see the questions in the cue card as well and you can start speaking from now on try to speak for 2 minutes without any interruption okay thank you sir uh, so first of all uh, art is a creative activity that expo expresses um, imagination or technical skill uh, it pro proceed proceed uh, proceeds to a product and object art is a diverse of a range of human activities who are creating visual performing artificial or expressing the author imaginative mind uh, the product of art is called work of art or others to explain experience like uh, we can divide four types of art like uh, plastic art which is um, drawing painting uh, print making or, or, or like some others and also have uh, performing art practical art and uh, literature like writing performing performing art is a dance acting and singing which is uh, amused us to to see those or was was those arts and also have practical arts like 
um, cooking, which is uh, we are like very much nowadays. And also like uh, we can, we can uh, let me interrupt you. Let me interrupt you, Rukul. Uh, it is very important to understand the questions written in the cue card. You you haven't understand. Uh, you haven't understood the question because here in the in the cue card you can see. Uh, describe a piece of art you like. Describe a piece of art that you like. It can be any art. They have not asked you to talk about art in general. They have asked you to describe a piece of art that you like. And these are the questions uh, that you can see in your screen to answer. The first question was, what the work of art is? So they are asking about which kind of art you liked or what kind of uh, what particular piece of art you liked they are not talking about the the what uh, or the definition of art they're not talking uh, talking about that they're topic talking specifically particularly about a piece of art that you have liked and when you first saw it i mean they are asking you when have you seen the piece of art that you liked in your life. So they're asking particularly about a topic and uh, because you are telling uh, specific information regarding the art sector, but that is not asked in this cue card. That, uh, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. The, the topics that you'll be getting in the IELTS cue card, they're very generic. They do not require any special knowledge about anything. For example, maybe Rukul, you know some specific knowledge about the art, but that is not needed for the IELTS exam. We have some questions in the IELTS exam. Those are very generic questions. I mean, uh, the questions should be, uh, people should be able to answer those questions from any background, any race. So everybody should be able to answer this question. And as you can see the question, describe a piece of art you like. It is talking about any kind of art, any piece of art that you like and what the work of art is. The first question was, so you should tell that which work of art you liked. And then you should tell when you first saw it. But by discussing these things, uh, you have to add some additional information as well because you have to talk for two minutes. So that's the uh, way of thinking here. So should you start, are you willing to start again by answering the generic questions that is given yeah. in this, uh, that is given in Thank this you, uh, Q card? Thank you so much for giving me a chance again. Mm -hmm. um, I'm like very much about plastic art, which is drawing and painting. Mm -hmm. And uh, I I saw the first time uh, art or is uh, at uh, Bangladesh Bangladesh Museum, where I I saw lots of art and uh, drawing art and painting art. But one of them I liked most, uh, all Asian of Bangladeshi culture, and um, I I know ab about it uh, the art from my um, educational academic uh, academic session from high school. And uh, I like it very much because it's shown how two people uh, survive when, when in our country or fallen as um, food crisis. That's why I like it very much. And they are they are explain the in the in the drawing or in the in the painting people how 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 survive people. Okay, uh, how people survive? I mean, yeah, how people survive? Try to follow the sentence structure: subject plus verb plus object. Uh, but uh, now look, when you are trying to answer these questions in this way, uh, you're not being able to generate sentences, uh, even talk for one minute, let alone two minutes. So that's the problem you'll be facing in the exam: making sentences for two minutes on a particular topic so you have to practice a bit more so these are the points that you should remember in um, in your exam that 
uh, you should be able to generate sentences, more sentences. And I have, uh, if you have been through my lectures, I have suggested you guys uh, many techniques how to be how to be able uh, to generate more sentences. For example, I have told you and shown you a strategy uh, that you should talk about the present case scenario, the past case scenario, and the future case scenario regarding a topic. So, um, if you see that lecture, that's um, on YouTube. If you see that lecture, you'll get to know that there are some techniques and. I don't know if you guys have been through that lecture. So the topic of the lecture was how to generate more sentences for the IELTS Spring Test Task 2, which is cue card, uh, because you have to talk for two minutes without any interruption. And I guess you already know this now. By now, it is very difficult to talk for two minutes without any interruption. So um, if you follow those techniques, for example, I have told you to uh, you know, I have told you to um, follow the technique, which is present case scenario, past case scenario, and future case scenario. So if you talk about a topic from the present case that, uh, for example, for your topic, describe a piece of art you like, you can say that I, I like this piece of art now, and then you can talk about your past case scenario, what you have liked in the past, and future case scenario, we, uh, what are the pro possibilities or probabilities of liking another piece of art in, in your near future? So if you talk from these three perspectives, you'll get to, you'll be able to generate more sentences for sure. And you'll be able to talk for two minutes for sure after answering these questions written in the cue card. Uh, anyone else, uh, on, anyone else wants to have a go on this topic? Um, maybe I'll uh, uh, call by sequence from here. Khalid Hussain. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Uh, wa alaikum salam. So, how are you, sir? Uh, Alhamdulillah, I'm doing great. What about you? Alhamdulillah, sir. I'm great. Sir, I have one, one question, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, can I, can I uh, add a person in this question? What or art? Uh, I don't think so because they have specifically mentioned describe a piece of art. Piece okay. is of not art. person, right? Okay, okay. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, do you wish to discuss or uh, start your two minute session? Yeah, obviously. Topic? Why not? Okay. Oh, why not? Actually, uh, actually, uh, I <laughs> I like to uh, mobile phone, and uh, it's very important in in my daily life. And uh, obviously, it's very important right now because of uh, we are living a modern age, and also modern age means uh, internet connections. Obviously, uh, you need, and also uh, you know, you need more information. So that uh, mobile phone is very important for a man. Uh, and also uh, very important for a student because of uh, more uh, more universities they uh, they inform only your uh, sending messages in your mobile uh, so that you, if you have a mobile phone obviously uh, you need many as information uh, just like uh, in the world uh, what what they uh, introduce what they are thinking etc so mobile phone is very important right now. Uh, so that uh, obviously I introduce uh, mobile phone. Thank you, sir. Mm, you're welcome, but mobile phone is not a piece of art. I'm afraid. In this uh, time, I feel <laughs> I feel it. You feel like this way, but that is wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, because you're supposed to describe a piece of art. If it was about the design of the mobile, if you have said that I like the design of a mobile, I like it as a piece of art, I like different types of designs in a mobile, that would have been an answer. Sir, any, any natural beauty I introduce? Can uh, I introduce any no, natural piece beauty? Piece of art uh, is like paintings, you know, one example of piece of art can be paintings. It can be uh, drawings of your own it can be a site of a building that yes i like the structure of this building 
so that that is a piece of art so you have to understand what is a piece of art so uh, so these are some generic things that they expect you to understand so but most of you guys uh, you you will be attending the ielts exam very soon but you're not being able to answer this simple question that is a matter of surprise for me uh, akram hussain are you there Akram Hussain, uh, or uh, yeah, okay, you are there. Yes, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. So, do you want to try you, this topic? Uh, Alhamdulillah, I'm doing fine. What about you? Yes, sir. Alhamdulillah, I'm also doing well. Okay. Uh, just let me mention you one thing. In the UK, uh. I know we have many greetings, and I think that uh, in uh, when we live in Bangladesh, we see that uh, we use greetings like "Hi," "Hello," and uh, we thought that uh, even I thought that when I was in Bangladesh, people say "Hi," "Hello" for greetings um, in the UK as well. Uh, yeah, in some of the cases, they they do this; they say "Hi" or "Hello" for greetings. But there is uh, an interesting greetings in the UK that I want to uh, discuss you uh, discuss with you or tell you guys. Uh, that is, uh, they say when whenever they see someone, they say you're all right. So it's like they do not even pronounce the full sentence. That you all right? Are you all right? Or just following the grammatical structure then should be are you all right but they skip the r part and even they do not spell or they do not pronounce the full words they say you all right you all right so uh, and even when you say um, for greeting and even when you see someone and you say you all right you're not expecting them to answer back they will also say you all right so it's like hi, you're saying hi to someone and they're giving your hi back. So you're saying hi and they're also saying hi. And for this case, it is very interesting because you are asking a question and they're answering it with another question. And you are even giving, uh, you're even uh, stating this question as a greeting. And they're also answering this question with a question as a greeting. So you're asking that you are right and they're also giving you the reply with you are right so this is very interesting did you know that yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. <laughs> really it's very interesting yeah did you know that previously that it happens in uk that they greet in this way yes actually um i heard from yourself you discussed the previous time maybe mm -hmm. okay now nice. So, uh, okay, let's uh, get back to this topic of discussion. Um, so, do you want to start discussing this topic like the ISIS Spring test exam? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, start your discussion and it should be for two minutes and you should be able to answer these questions in your discussion. Akram, we cannot hear you. Mm, okay, uh, maybe uh, you are you're not reachable. Maybe some network issues, so we cannot hear you. So, okay. Um, I guess one person left. Rakibul, do you want to have a try? uh try on this topic again because yeah. you didn't try it earlier right okay sir yeah i wanna try <clears throat> okay uh i like uh, i like an art what 
what uh, what was my friend uh, making making it was a, a kind of a river and uh, a kind of river he making it by his, his hand and he uh, making it with color uh, mm -hmm. so it it was very interesting and i saw it i first time saw it in his room uh, he was uh, keeping he was keeping it in his on his table so i saw it on his table and it was very uh, it was very beautiful and it was uh, a river and a boat uh, someone uh, someone riding the boat uh, and he uh, and he made it uh, and he made it very beautifully and so <clears throat> I I know about the river and boat. Uh, it was a very interesting, uh, very interesting thing to riding boat uh, on the on the river. And I like it very much. And it's uh, absolutely a lot of people like it. Like to uh, journey by boat, uh, journey and <clears throat> and uh, visit sea, river, uh, canal. It's very beautiful. And when uh, when uh, flood uh, when become flood in the country then everyone uh, then everyone uh, then everyone want to everyone wants to uh, ride by boat and uh, it is very interesting for everybody and uh, everyone like it and i also like i also like do the journey by boat that's it uh, thank you rakibul at least you got the gist of the topic and tried to answer it in your own way yeah, there, there are lackings of fluency, grammatical structures, same words again and again. I told you not to repeat same sentence or same words again and again, so you'll get less band score, but at least you, you got the gist of the topic, but you should work on this, uh, these things, your fluent, uh, fluency, the grammatical structures, uh, as well as uh, you have some nervousness when you were talking. So you, you should... Uh, work on this to get a good okay, band score okay, but sir. uh thank you for trying and uh people are asking about the zoom link the zoom link is uh i posted the zoom link in the facebook group like the previous day like yesterday and the even the link is same the link is same which was used uh yesterday so uh people who are asking about the zoom link uh i already posted the zoom link in the Facebook group today, the Facebook group called UK Study Visa by Hustle Free Education, and I'm also posting this link in the YouTube chat box as well. So uh, you can visit uh, that. Link. Uh, could I try to? Uh, can I try to send it in the YouTube chat? Yeah, you you can also do it. No problem. Okay. I was sending it. I don't know why people are not being able to see it. Okay, maybe gonna... YouTube is banning uh, posting link in the chat box. That that can be a reason. Um, so um, next, let's let's talk about maybe you guys will feel more comfortable in this topic. Like describe a book that you recently read. So it is also a very very common topic to discuss so um i guess uh you guys will be able to answer this topic uh, when you get a topic uh let's discuss this when you get a topic or when you pick a cue card in the is being test task two it is very important to understand the topic and because you'll you'll be getting one minute for your preparation in that one minute you should be able to you should be able to go through uh the questions written in the cue card as you can see the questions are here uh, what kind of uh, describe a book you have recently read and the questions are what kind of book it is what it is about what sort of people would enjoy it and explain why you liked it so these are the these are the topics um 
written in the Q card. These are the questions written in the Q card regarding this topic. Describe a book you have recently read. So because you're getting one minute for your preparation, try to write the keywords that you will be using to answer to answer this, uh, these questions written in the cue card. Sarvane Judi Abdander Bosarjuna Abarami Chile Bangla Bote Badi Bangla Bootsi Abrajakun cue card to Tulben, a lottery motto cue card as a spin test as to a journal, cue card to Jakun Tulben. Topic to Abra Jan and Jabran Kunta Baden. So, J topic upner paths and cue cut to Tule, Shekanato, cue cut a lakatak with topic taki, Javanakan lakats, and describe a book you have recently read. Epore, shake you cut on a gulu, Proshno lakatak bay. So, after do you meet a J book to the Dita Habe, a Nirovichino book to the Shinirovichino book to the Oboshui, a Proshno gulu, Uturo Takta Habe, or the cue card a upner J Proshno gulu lakatak bay. আপনার বক্তৃতাতে সেই প্রশ্নগুলোর উত্তরও উঠে আসবে এবং দিতে হবে সেই প্রশ্নগুলোর উত্তর না হলে আপনি ব্যান্ড স্কোর কম পাবেন তো আপনি যেহেতু আপনার বক্তৃতা শুরুর আগে 1 মিনিট সময় পাচ্ছেন প্রস্তুতি নেবার জন্য সেই 1 মিনিটে চেষ্টা করবেন আপনাকে যেহেতু একটা কাগজ আর কলম দেওয়া হবে আপনি চেষ্টা করবেন যে আপনাকে যেই প্রশ্নগুলো দেওয়া হয়েছে কিউ কার্ডে সেই প্রশ্নগুলোর প্রতিটির জন্য অ্যানসারের কি কিওয়ার্ডগুলো লিখে রাখতে মানে যেই শব্দগুলো আপনি দেখলে আপনার উত্তরগুলো মনে পড়ে যাবে সেরকম ছোট ছোট শব্দ আপনি খাতায় লিখে রাখবেন ওই 1 মিনিটে যাতে করে আপনি যখন কথা বলছেন আপনি যখন 2 মিনিট বক্তৃতা দিচ্ছেন তখন আপনি ওই খাতার দিকে তাকালে আপনি ওই কাগজটার দিকে তাকালে আপনি সেই শব্দগুলো চোখে পড়ে এবং আপনার উত্তরগুলো দিতে সিরিয়ালি উত্তরগুলো দিতে সোজা হয় বা সহজ হয় তো এই এই টেকনিকটা অবশ্যই আপনারা ফলো করবেন এটা খুবই কার্যকরী একটা পদ্ধতি যেটা আপনাকে সাহায্য করবে 2 মিনিট কথা বলতে এবং সুন্দরভাবে কোন ধরনের হেজিটেশন ছাড়া আপনার প্রশ্নের উত্তরগুলো দিতে আপনার বক্তৃতায় তো আই গেস ইট ইজ নাও ক্লিয়ার আর একটা হচ্ছে যে আপনারা যারা uh, join put that's an on a key comment puts an uh, our Facebook live is a key for a June June last as you're in Corbin at if you can study visa the Facebook group check and post the it's a link to a boom up near YouTube chat box so link to the arts so up me up under she Facebook group has a free Egyptian Facebook group is a link to the director button also by YouTube chat box to get a link to the director so it has a good এবার হচ্ছে আমরা এই টপিকটা নিয়ে একটু গোছু করব আব্দুল্লাহ আইয়ুদে ক্যান ইউ হিয়ার মি আই গেস ইউ নট হিয়ার ইফ ইউ আর হিয়ার দেন ইউ ক্যান রিপ্লাই দ্যাট ইউ আর হিয়ার ওকে দেন আই এম গোইং টু অ্যানাদার পার্টিসিপেন্ট is Rukul, are you there? Can you listen to me? If you can, uh, you, you should unmute your mic because I can't hear you. Uh, you should unmute your mic and start speaking, uh, start uh, describing this topic, which is describe a book that you have recently read. Uh, let me uh, give you some hints uh, at first. So, for that, I'm Kalatuta, sir. I can hear you, sir. I can hear you. Okay, you can hear me. All right. Uh, let me give you uh, just some preparational advice. Describe a book that you have recently read. So, maybe sir, I, it's I can difficult. speak two minutes. This uh, this question. Uh, yeah, I know, but uh, maybe it's it, it can be difficult for someone who haven't read uh, who haven't read uh, books yet. Maybe they're not a bookish person. So this question even can be difficult for someone who are not familiar with reading books. 
so the strategy can be as we all have gone through as we have gone through many literatures in our life when we are students of the ssc and hsc level and uh, people giving ielts they have already passed the ssc exam and the hsc exam already so i i guess you guys are familiar with the literatures provided in in the exam of ssc and hsc for example in hsc and ssc you will have uh, I guess you must have read uh, the books called Podda uh, Nudir Machi and some others literature, uh, one drama uh, called Pobor by Munir Chodhuri and you have this kind of books already read uh, in your, for your exam in your SSC and HSC. So if you do not have any idea about literature books you can always you know discuss about those books that you have covered for your SC and HSC exam so that that can be a technique uh, to discuss uh, the answers for this particular topic but uh, i have a new participant uh, or maybe akram hussein uh, there were some problems in your internet can you now unmute yourself akram is your internet connection all right? If it is, you can unmute yourself. Uh, if you are listening to me, I don't know. Akram, are you there? Maybe you are again having the problem. Uh, you're trying to get in and then you're, you're being disconnected. Sorry for this. Uh, internet issues uh, happens a lot. Internet issues happen a lot in Bangladesh. Okay, uh, Khaled Hussein, you, want yeah, to, you wanted to discuss, right? Uh, thank you, sir, for giving me this chance. Actually, uh, recently I read many years books, uh, but uh, one book is very uh, uh, famous. Uh, recently I read, it, it, it was uh, As You Like It, uh, written by Shakespeare. Uh, Shakespeare was uh, very important in, in English, important lead writer in, in english literature and also uh, th this book was uh, uh, was uh, a comedy you know that uh, comedy comedy means uh, how in, it, it was uh, started uh, so really and also it is in that uh, happily it's called uh, comedy uh, in this in, in this in this book i uh, i read many uh, information that just like uh, the character uh, where uh, rosalind in the uh, rosalind is, is the heroine of this, of this book and also orlando uh, uh, was the hero on this book but the main uh, interesting uh, thing is rosalind was the queen of this book and orlando was a poor men but rosalind fell in love uh, with orlando and uh, one day they came back to outside uh, uh, it it was most interesting interesting part of this book uh, and also uh, in this in, in this book uh, we uh, sorry i read many as uh, charm that's like one king uh, what was their, what, what was his thinking and one poor man what was his his thinking I read in this book, uh, and also I I I, I acquire media knowledge for reading this book. Thank you, Sir. Uh, you're most welcome. But uh, the fact is, yeah, you have tried, uh, and your fluency was good in this speech. But the fact is, uh, you have missed some questions. For example, what sort of people would enjoy it? Uh, do you think that you have answered this question in your speech, Khalid? Sorry, sir. Uh, do you think that you have answered this question in your uh, in your speech? What sort of people would enjoy it? This question is written, and you should answer it in your speech. Have you answered it? No, sir. No, no. Why you actually, have sir, missed it? Actually, sir, <laughs> I forgot it. Yeah, but you should always. That's why. You know, you should always take a look at the cue card constantly when you are discussing your uh, answers or your uh, topic of discussion in the in your two minutes speech. 
and I, I guess I have already told you that you will get one minute of preparation time. In that preparation time, you should write keywords regarding the answer, regarding each answer. So by seeing those keywords, you will also remember that yes, I have to tell this as the answer of this particular question. So do not miss any question while you are trying to discuss a topic. All right. Okay, sir. thank you. You're welcome and thank you for trying. Um, it was a good try. People are still commenting how to join. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I have already posted the link as well in the Facebook group, but they are not being able to join. That's so unfortunate. But the time of this class is uh, very, no, we don't have much time left actually. All right. Uh, so I guess you guys already understood um, those guys present today and uh, you had a go at these topics uh, you guys have already understood uh, the problems that you'll be facing um, in the in the exam hall so do you have any questions regarding that any of you do have any questions or you can also discuss about the difficulties that you will facing while answering the questions or while answering the task to cue card so no sir okay so i'm very satisfied you're very satisfied but yeah. uh yeah you maybe you don't have any question maybe you don't have any confusion but the fact is uh you're not being able to deliver your best because uh maybe because the lack of practice or may make maybe because the lack of willingness to follow the techniques following the techniques are very important to be able to answer or to be able to discuss these topics for two minutes so uh, if you get some topics which are out of your comfort zone uh, follow the techniques that were mentioned even in this class and even in the previous classes uh, to gen to be able to generate sentences so uh, anybody else wants to have a go like Khalid Hussein in this topic, Rukul, are you there? Or uh, Rakibul? Yes, sir, I'm there. Okay, do you want to have a go at this topic? Okay. <clears throat> Let's start. <coughs> it was uh, a storybook uh, written by uh, Ranjit Singh. <coughs> it is about a love story. Uh, he written about a couple in this story. Uh, in this story, uh, the hero belongs to a poor family and the heroine belongs to a rich family. So there was the problem. Uh, the guardian uh, was not uh, agree to uh, get married get marry them so uh, the in this and uh, the finishing of the story was very interesting they uh, after the after the problem they solve all problem and they get married and uh, the young people would enjoy it very much because uh, only young people would understand the love story and uh, they are the most emotional to uh, learn about <coughs> about love story and i liked it uh, very much because the story was very interesting and there were uh, some problem in the story and uh, the couple were solved uh, all problem uh, very technically and i learned uh, their technique and i i think i will be able to solve uh, this kind of problem on the time so that's why i like it very much um thank you rakibul and you tried to answer all of the questions that's very encouraging uh there were lackings in your grammar i, I guess you already know this uh you uh, like your sentence structures are not good uh, even uh, some of the verbs they are missing from your sentences and one thing I want to especially mention, and I, I think that this will help you, 
and because I'm giving you an example. You have uh, said love is story, you know, love is story again and again. Because you were talking about a love story. But I, I guess I have told you multiple times not to use the same words or same sentences uh, for multiple times. Do not repeat it. Uh, so how to, uh, how to, uh, you know, uh, how to uh, lessen use of repetition? How to do this? For your case, you you were discussing about a love story, and you were telling these two words, love story, maybe for ten times or twelve times. I have heard it. So what should you do in your case? You Sir, I think I can romantic I... story, right? Yeah. Romantic stories. Uh, so maybe instead of love story, sometimes you, you could say love story and sometimes you could say romantic story that would expose or that would reflect that you can use different vocabularies when you need. Even romantic is a word that is very common, that is very easy. Love is a word that is also very common and very easy, but that is not the problem. The problem is the capability of implementing different vocabularies in different times. So even if you say romantic, because it is different from love, you get a good bank score because then the examiner will understand you can implement different vocabularies at different times. Got it, Rakibu? Yes, sir, I got it. Thank you. You're most welcome. So, uh, okay, uh, so I guess you guys understood, uh, even the guys present in the Zoom and, and the YouTube, you guys have understood in our from our discussion today that there will be problems while answering, while answering the questions uh, of the regarding the topic of the discussion and regarding the topic of the cue card that you will be picking in your, in your access being test task two, there will be problems while you answer the questions. So these problems uh, can only be solved by practicing, but try to remember the techniques, try to remember the things. Well, when I'm talking, I should try to implement different vocabularies. When I'm talking, I should be able to follow the generic sentence structure, which is verb, uh, which is subject plus verb plus object. I should be able to follow uh, the tense as well. I should be, I should not uh, forget that uh, the verb, the auxiliary verb and the main verb in a sentence. I should not forget about the tense. I should implement more complex sentences rather than simple sentences. I should answer all of the questions that is mentioned uh, in the cue card. And even if I am facing the problem of not being able to generate more sentences and my time is not going up, like I have one minute left, but I answered all of the questions, what can I do now? For, for that, because I have talked about the present case scenario, maybe I can talk about the past or maybe I can talk about the future. Then by talking about the past and talking about the future, I can uh, talk for another one minute and finish the two minutes time quota. So thinking in this way will help you guys to overcome the difficulties that you are facing now while you are on this uh, discussion session, while, while you are on this uh, IELTS Spring test task two. So I hope that um, by following these measures, and please try to practice by following these measures. Do not practice without following these measures. If you just practice uh, casually, that will not help. Practice following these techniques in your with your friend or uh, uh, in front of mirror. You can practice following these techniques. Do not practice without the techniques follow these techniques and practice and practice to implement these techniques in your speech so if you are practicing without following this technique that will that practicing is not helping you 
so when you practice please try to follow these techniques and even try to go through my previous classes regarding as spring task two i have taken two classes and try to watch those classes try to follow those tips and tricks uh, and try to implement those tips or techniques in your practice so if you are practicing without following the technique that is not helping you so try to practice with, uh, by following the techniques and i hope that after practicing uh, your skill will go up i thank uh, all of you today even especially the participants here rakibul khaled abdullah and rukul who have tried to discuss the topics even getting out of their own comfort zone i can understand you are getting out of your own comfort zone you are uh, speaking uh, even you are speaking about something that you do not have any idea about you are trying your best that is the main thing that is the way to success my friends so uh, here some of the guys you have tried your best to come up with the discussion and to come up with the answers uh, regarding the questions of a related topic so i congratulate you guys that you you, you are trying your best trying your level best uh, for answering the the questions and you are trying your level best to follow the techniques so i hope that you guys will improve eventually and you already have a decent level of english you already maybe if you attend your exam you're going to have some decent score but i want you guys to get more you know getting better scores uh, than your uh, than your current level so uh, by saying this and those who are in the youtube you uh, i guess you obviously uh, followed this class today we have discussed many key things and you have already seen that what happens uh, when you do not know or when you do not have any depth knowledge about the topic what should you do so uh, the next class will be the next week that will be the last class of the speaking session we'll be uh, having a one to one discussion like this class zoom discussion the link will be same same link provided in facebook today same link uh, for the next class as well that will also be a direct class and that will be regarding uh, the is spring test task 3 the broad questions so uh, on that day we'll be practicing the broad questions live and i'll be giving you some feedbacks try to watch the classes previously so i have taken two classes regarding the is spring test task 3 that's your homework uh, try to watch those classes and uh, those two classes will help you regarding the IELTS spring test task three uh, will help you and watch those two classes before coming to the feedback classes so the next class will be the last class regarding the IELTS spring test uh, sessions so the, in that class we'll be having discussion live discussion and feedback session re regarding the IELTS spring test task three try to attend those class and try to share about these free classes provided by Hassel Free Education in your Facebook and in your friends group. Uh, I wish you all the best and inshallah we'll be meeting you next week for the very last class regarding the IELTS screening test task three. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank Allah. you, sir. Love.